Welcome to this basic string app tutorial. This will be a hands-on demonstration of how to work with the Cytoscape string app. So I highly recommend that you go watch my brief introductions to both the Cytoscape platform itself and to Cytoscape string app before continuing. In the tutorial, I'll first show you the Cytoscape user interface and how to install an app from the Cytoscape app store. I will then show you how to use the string app to perform a string protein query starting from a list of proteins from an omic study. Then how to change the string styling of the network, to import the omics data itself, and finally how to visualize it on the network using continuous color mapping to turn log fold change values into a color gradient. Let's get started. Welcome to Cytoscape. This is how Cytoscape looks when you first start it up. Let's imagine you have a spreadsheet like this with omics data. Each row is a different protein, and for each you have a uniproduct accession number, a gene name, and a lot of different values representing the omics dataset itself. You might imagine that in Cytoscape you could simply search for these uniproduct accession numbers and get a string network directly. However, to get that functionality, you need to first install an app from the Cytoscape App Store. To do so, open the App Manager, search for String, select String App, and press the Install button. A moment later, the String App will have been installed into Cytoscape on your computer. This gives you a lot of new functionality, including new search options. Select String Protein Query and go back to the spreadsheet. Here, select the entire column of Uniprod accession numbers and copy them into the clipboard. Go back to Cytoscape and paste these into the search field. Next to the search field, you have a button that gives you access to adjust the search options or search parameters. However, in this case, we are happy with them as is and leave them at the default. Press the looking glass to perform the search. Quickly, you should receive a string network. It looks very much like it would inside the string web interface. On the right hand side, you got a new panel, which gives you access to the string app functionality, including adjusting how the network looks. Here, you can turn off the string colors to make all the nodes gray, turn off the string style labels to have them be centered as a standard in Cytoscape, turn off the miniature structures inside the glass balls, and even turn off the glass ball effect itself if you like. However, in this case I want to keep the glass ball effect, so I turn it back on. Below the network you have several tables. The node table contains a row for each protein, along with a lot of data retrieved from string and associated databases. The edge table contains the edges coming from the string database and all their confidence scores. Now let's import the omics data itself. For this, you choose Import Table from File and select the file that contains the actual spreadsheet with data. From the Import dialog, it's important to choose that you want to match the Uniprod accession numbers against the column in the node table called Query Term. When you import the data, you will now get some additional columns in the node table containing the data from your omics data spreadsheet. This allows you to use these data inside Cytoscape for styling the network. Let's go to the Visual Styles panel and select the fill color of the nodes. Then select that we want to color the nodes based on the 10 minute log ratio from the spreadsheet and use a continuous color mapping for doing so. The default color mapping is from blue to white to red, which is suitable for this data. However, as you can see, the nodes are very pale. To make the colors stronger, we want to narrow the range of the numbers. We set the min and the max to go from minus two to plus two instead, and you see the network immediately gets much stronger colors. This is the basics of how you import a network into Cytoscape and map omics data onto it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to best use colors and other visual properties for showing your data on networks, take a look at this presentation next.